CR 225 Q&A practice test. Ready? Here we go. That's 1771109. It is. Is that the same number that was on the case that was found on March 9th? It was. For the record, you have the gun in your hand, which has been marked as Exhibit 49, right? Yes. Was this the gun that you saw that day and was shown in the photo you just reviewed? It is. What was done with that gun after the pictures were done? It was taken by Crime Scene Specialist Row. Is that also true of the fired cartridge casing? Yes. And the holster? Yes. Okay. While you were there, was Sue Hill there? On which day, sir? I'm sorry. Thank you. So on March 13th? Yes. Okay. And did you receive from Detective Carl some bags of clothing that he got from her? Yes. Okay. Now the clothes, what did you do with it? When Detective Carl gave it to me, I gave it to Crime Scene Specialist Row at the scene. Did you give any special instructions as to what to do with it? I did not. It was just given to the Crime Scene Specialist for taking to the lab. Yes, sir. Were you aware that some of the clothes were later tested for gunshot residue? Yes. And did you direct or choose which pieces of clothing would be tested? I did not. Okay, did you open those bags? No, I did not. So you'd never even, could you tell that they were inside? I can't remember what they were. No. Was it clothes? I couldn't tell you, sir. It was just bags of things? Yes. Okay, on March 9th or 10th, did you work with a colleague named Detective? Is it James Carl? Yes. Did you direct him to go to the Hyatt? Yes. To get some video surveillance recording? Yes, sir. Did he bring that back to you? Yes, he did, but I don't think it was that day. It took them some time to just burn them. But yes, we did get them from the Hyatt. Did you receive them? I did. You reviewed them? I did. Did you view those same discs or one of those discs today? I did. I have Exhibit 49, no Exhibit 74 in my computer here. When you got that disc, is it all one running file or is it a series of different files? It is a series of different files. Okay, we are going to start off with the first disc, file A. I'm going to play the first one, number A, for the record. That was 19 seconds, right? Yes. What was shown in file A? File depicts March 8th of 2010 at 1510. It shows Ross Black's Ford car entering the parking structure at the Hyatt. All right, I'm going to open file B. Now I'm playing file B. What is shown in file B? It's more of the video from inside the parking structure of Mr. Black's car driving inside of the parking structure. Let me stop it there. Is the car shown in this frame? In this frame, I don't believe it is. All right, it doesn't look like it was there at all. Then we go to file C. Yes, can you see it really well from where you are? I'm not doing too bad. I'm okay, thank you. Okay, this is another surveillance view of a parking lot, right? Yes, when you saw it this morning, did you see his car on it? I couldn't decide from looking at the video, either the one here or letter B of the car. File D is here. Now what is shown in file D? File D is the same day, March 8th, 3.30 in the afternoon. It shows Mr. Black walking through the parking structure with a bag. Okay, and that was 22 seconds long, right? Yes, sir. Get to the next file, which is E. What is shown in E? E is the camera view of an elevator at the Hyatt level number five with Mr. Black inside of the elevator. Now I've stopped it, and could you describe the clothing that he's wearing? He's wearing a white t-shirt. From here, it looks like blue or dark colored shorts, white socks, and dark shoes. He's got something in his left hand, doesn't he? He does. What is that? I'm not sure if it's a bag or what that is. And it shows him in the elevator, yes. Now it shows him walking out of the elevator, yes. So the total video is 37 seconds, yes sir. Now I'm going to open file F. I think we just did E, right? I'm going to stop it right now at F for the record. What is shown in this video, file F. File F is an exterior of the level three elevators with Mr. Black walking out of the elevator into the lobby part of the structure. Okay, let me get it going again. Now it seems like he goes just somewhat off screen. Part of his body is off the screen, right? Yes. In this one, he seems to be starting to somehow change clothes or change his shirt, doesn't he? Yes. Now this frame, it looks like he's just wearing a shirt. He's wearing a white tank top, wearing the same blue or dark colored shorts that he was wearing. Now it looks like he's putting on a blue shirt, right? Yes. Looks like the blue shirt was over the white tank top shirt, right? Yes. Now it looks like he has the white t-shirt that he had. He's got it in his hand right yes now he put the white t-shirt back on yes sir now as he walks away it look lo looks like he's got something briefly in his left hand doesn't he yes 
something dark, maybe the blue shirt, you can't really tell, but it's dark, something dark in his hand, yes. Now he's standing in front of an elevator, the same set of elevators he was in earlier, right? Yes, now he's getting in an elevator, right? Yes, sir, now the door closes, that's the end of the, that file, which is three minutes, it ends at 1535 hours. Let me open up the next file, file G, what is shown in here in this 19 second file? It shows Mr. Black entering the lobby area. There are stairs, I believe, right there. And one of the security guards to his right, he's got this blue object in his left hand, right? That blue object, yes. Let me open the next file, which I think is H. What is shown in file H? It's Mr. Black. All right, that will conclude our RPR 225 Q&A practice test.